right. Let's get in the game. So, something I noticed, not a lot of cruiser captains use the um, upgraded uh, consumable item. One that extends the duration by 10%. Uh, no, the one that actually gives you four consumables instead of three. Superintendent. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty common take, actually. The problem with superintendent is oftentimes it's up against other um, choices like adrenaline rush. That is generally better. Um, the only time superintendent, in my opinion, is worth it is if you get a heal. Because then you get an extra heal on top of that. But even then, it's one of the later ones you pick. What about smoke? What do you mean, what about smoke? Like, if you're playing a DD, wouldn't it be better to have uh, four smokes and the extended coverage? Yes and no. Depends Depends on the smoke. Yeah. Like, if you're using it to farm, yeah, you can get value out of all four smokes. If you say you're a daring and you get six smokes and you're going to seven, uh, the amount you get is not as important. Yep. You really just take it more for the heal. It also really depends, too, on you, the player. Some people like to use their smoke a lot. Some people are very, um, you know, are very careful with their smokes and don't use it that often. So, you know, you have to think about how you play the game, too. Yep. For me, for example, I consider three uh, three smokes sufficient. So mm -hmm. if I'm playing a gearing, I will not take superintendent unless I am using the smokes for someone else. Right. There's, there's other choices that are better. Oof. Amagi just said it all you there. Oh, six Kage minutes in the reach. I've seen him before. Sorry, Tim. Go ahead. What was that? Uh, the Kage hit him with rockets, too. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, the D. Does he have Sentinetti on this ship? Uh, that's a good question. I don't see a, a flag up there. We'll have to find out. Oh, so Grunty, that's true, too. A lot of battles don't last long enough to get to the point where that four smoke would have mattered. Now, if there, if it's, like I said, if it's a heal, then you get a lot more utility out of Superintendent for a destroyer as well as a cruiser. Um, if it's another Hydro... Oh, my God. Rip that Fletcher. That's sap for you. That's a very good shot. Yeah, that's a very good shot. If it's, um... If it's a Hydro and you're playing a German destroyer, for example, like the Z-52, and you play a very aggressive cap control games, then Superintendent can come in handy there, too. I noticed you haven't taken a drink in a while, Zach. Oh, I see Hydrate. Thank you. The Destroyer Venezia. Yeah, well, that's what Venezia does best, is it definitely wrecks destroyers. So, quick question. Uh, for this particular ship, is the long-range spotter plane better or the fighters? Long-range spotter plane. Spotter plane. Absolutely, yes. So, the reason why you want to go spotter plane on this is because you want to increase the range. And Venezia is very good with the sap at shooting uh, targets that are sitting still. Um, in clan battles, oftentimes that's a Moskva or a Stalingrad which your sap will penetrate because it penetrates 30 millimeters of armor. Um, generally speaking, carriers aren't that big of a threat for you, and frankly, uh, catapult fighters against a good carrier player do nothing, which is very frustrating. True. I uh, usually run on my grass spree the uh, upgraded fighters, the interceptors, and they take out anything in the air. Upgraded fighters on the Graf Spey. I think he meant Graf Zeppelin. Uh, yeah, sorry, Graf oh, Zeppelin. Oh, well, yeah, 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 absolutely. You can, you can definitely go Interceptor build if you want to, sure. I would be careful showing broadside to Amaki here. Yeah, now you're trying to, trying to dislodge the enemy at sea, because you see a lot of ships there. I kind of agree with this. Uh, there's no point in pushing a gearing. I think he noticed the Amaki had already fired. That's why he went broadside. Hmm. Oh, a Prusin charging up the middle. Yep. That's actually not a bad plan. For who, the Prusin or for the Venezia? <laughs> uh, for the Prusin. Well, the problem 
Yeah, I mean, he doesn't really have much to, to worry about, I suppose, except maybe the Montana. Well, getting to the middle is not the hard part. Getting, getting out. out of it while surviving yeah. is the hard part. Yeah, yeah but on this map, you have enough islands to use as cover. The right, yeah, but the problem, though, is, is that you use them for cover, but all, all you're doing is letting the enemy get closer or get shots on you from that position, so... Uh, you're going to see, I think, shortly. He's going to run Hydro, which is smart, and he'll probably gun down the Fletcher and detect those torps the Fletcher just fired, but I think he's going to lose at least half his hit points in the process of doing this maneuver. Mm -hmm. Like, we, like everyone can see what the Prusans do. So, Noble Chernobyl. Love the name. Like, we already have everyone just kind of running back and trying to kill him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yep. Unfortunately, you missed the, the destroyer there, but look at those torps. Yep. Ah, there goes the person. Yep. Exactly. So, we knew that was going to happen as soon as the person charged. The problem is, is that he was in a position where, well, if he didn't charge, he would just be he would just sit there and be paper cut to death for the next three to four minutes. His best move was to actually just turn around to the right and then just come out, uh, come yeah. back south. And turn south, exactly right. He didn't. He, he went through the channel thinking he could make a play. He didn't. Yeah, he got greedy. Yeah. I mean, I guess he was low on ships at that point, but he really didn't need to worry about trying to make a play at that point. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to remove the destroyer by shoving the Venezia into the cab. You can do that. That's extremely risky. Well, it's just the Jutland, I guess. The Imagi could try to hold you accountable, but he's pretty far away at this point. He could try, but he has a high, he has a smoke cup when he kills the Jotland, so he's yeah. not worried. Right, exactly. I mean, he's just, yeah. And you're even hitting him in his own smoke by looking at where he shoots his guns. There's the Amagi shells. You're waiting for the next shell. See, you wait for the shells, and then you fire. You missed their time. Oh, well, the Fletcher died. There is the Jutland. And it's like, what, what's this Jutland going to do about you? He could try to single fire torp you, but that won't kill you. So you, you're sitting, you're stopping here, which is good. I would probably smoke actually in reverse. Because you're outside of the Mosfa's range. I'd also be throwing up my spotter to see what that DD was doing. Yep. Cockman, uh, what are we uh, listening to? What the hell did you put pick for here? That's kind of debatable. The spotter plane's not very reliable. Mm. Like, it can, it'll tend to go in random directions, which is anywhere but what, what you want to spot. What's up, Ben Nimitz? Happy Easter to you too, sir. You're very lucky that Something the Mosfa didn't pop his radar, by the way. Something to keep in mind, if you went down the left side, uh, if you went to the other side of the cap, I think you would have had angles to kill the Jutland. Mm-hmm. Also, Instead, you kind of, uh, yeah, you went and beach on the left side of the island, which meant you lost angles on Jutland as soon as he rounded the corner. I was about to say, too, alternately, you, you could just YOLO in and, and go after the Jutland and the Colbert. Because, I mean, you've got that. I mean, either way, you're, you're making it work. Yeah, it's there's always... not enough enemies to really stop him, so yeah. he can get away with a lot of stuff now. Yep, we're just trying to give you some alternative alternatives to think about I would probably slow down and turn out here just because the Jutland's got those torpedo angles on you you're slowing down and turning in which you could do too it's just Amagi <laughs> Amagus mm -hmm. oh hey Jutland I don't think the Jutland expect you to come back like that and bye bye I think it was due to the planes. The Hornet was uh, about was in the area, so I was uh, I would have uh, gone in to see if I could catch the Jotlin as well. Mm. I like the name of that guy. It's Raymond Spruance. He was an actual commander, uh, admiral in World War II. Was he on the Hornet uh, itself? Maybe I don't remember. Uh, I do not believe so. Spruance used to be on the. I thought he was on the Lexington. Yeah, um, 
Wasn't he the for the lucky? He did command Task Force 16 at the Battle Midway, comprising Enterprise and Hornet. Ah, uh, then he was on the Enterprise's uh, Admiral Bridge then. Yeah, because I mean for... Oh, that's right, because Halsey... Halsey got sick. And he had to miss uh, Midway because of that, so Spruance took over for him. And Spruance was like a cruiser commander or something at first. Before before being set to Task Force 16. One of his first jobs. By the way, our main our main admiral is sick, so you uh, you get to be in charge. Yeah, good luck. Oh, We're all counting on you. But, yeah. By the Could way, most battle battle coming up. No pressure. Yeah, he was on the uh, he commanded the Northampton. He was a heavy cruiser commander. Under Halsey's command, right? Yep. Okay. Cool. Yes, Halsey had... That's right, it was Shingles, yeah. Isn't history great? Oh, look at your sap on the Kaga. Speaking of history. So your plan going into uh, into your entire push up through sea was to not overcommit, which is why you're kind of slow in your roll. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, right? Because if you overcommit, then they can just smack you. Uh, AP into the side of the Kaga could work here. Um, but, you know, it's a Kaga. It's a carrier, so you're thinking lightly armored ship. Of course, the Kaga. He's, battleship conversion. He's uh, aiming for the mid uh, armor line as well. In other words, you should aim a little bit higher, perhaps. Yeah, with HE, definitely, because that's a wooden deck. You want to get well, that fire. And Well, he's using SAP, because Venezia has SAP or AP. Does not have oh, I can't shows. tell. You're in the way. <laughs> oh. Having a wooden deck doesn't mean anything in this game. Sadly, it does not. Really? I, I kind of noticed the HE works better on the wooden deck, so. I don't, I, maybe it's yeah. just me. So, carriers have No, it's a just the armor value. Mm-hmm. Carriers have a set fire coefficient, so any tier six and up carriers have the will have the same fire chance as a tier six carrier. Basically okay. speaking, they catch uh, the higher tier carriers catch fire a lot easier. Right. They also DCP it immediately and are immune to another fire for a minute after air and when they start DCPing. So there's that too. Which is why carriers need buffs. Mm -hmm. yes. All the buffs, all the buffs. They can also launch planes when they're on fire, and recover, because that's historical. Yeah. I remember that scale. Emergency takeoff. Everyone, everyone learned emergency takeoff. Yes, because the biggest issue was you were on fire, not the M4 ship shooting at you. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. What do y'all think? YouTube worthy? If so, name and overall. Difficulty level. I would say intermediate for this. Uh, he's got good positioning on most of this battle. Mm -hmm. Going sure for the fifth kill, though. That's the question. Weren't sure if it over pen. Since you weren't going to have a lot of time, so you stayed with SAP. That's fair, too. I mean, when in doubt, sap. Kaga's one of the harder carries the Citadel, so I would have gone with sap as well. And, uh, rip your chance at crack in there. Report, uh, report a taco for a kill ceiling. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that's not a thing in here. So... I'm not seeing anybody else talking about between intermediate and a bit advanced. I would agree with you there, Niftiness. There's definitely some advanced things in there. End up being a personal base XP record in randoms. So what do we title this if we are putting this out on YouTube? What happened in this battle that was so... A mid-push? Or, uh, our Sap Slap? We could do Sap Slap. That could be fun. Sap Slap would be better. Sap Slap. I like it. Sap Slap. Sap slap. Because that's basically what you did. You slapped that crap out of, what, two or three destroyers? Plus others. Waiting for the gearing to show up. 
doesn't matter. He's pretty much... I mean, I don't think your shells will even reach there at the end. Nah, they capped it out anyway. That's what I mean. Like, the, the time... That's okay, though. Solo oh, we cap... Might get lucky. Yeah, the solo cap definitely got the, uh, the uh, some XP as well as that huge destroyer just dev strike at the beginning.